We're going to start tonight at 10 o'clock with Fox 40's Arena Shaddix live in Forest Hill to explain how certain heavy equipment played a major role in stopping those flames, Roe. Well, absolutely, they did, Nikki and Eric. And behind me, this is where what's called the masticator. There were several of them that were knocking down brush and trees yesterday, creating a fire break. And that's really how the fire stopped from spreading into town. This crew out of Placerville were literally forced to run from the flames with only the shirts on their backs. Things a little quick. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. Over our Cal Fire radios, it came up to watch the smoke, and then it was, hey, get out of there now, pull your crews now. Look at that, dude. It's like, it's like three to 400 meters away. The rapid spread of fire yesterday put these brave bunch of men in the path of unrelenting flames as they operated heavy equipment known as the masticator. Yesterday when we were down on that dozer line down there, that fire came up so quick with all of those masticators. The masticators don't move very fast, so we ended up actually just leaving the masticators, jumping out and running to the nearest truck, jumping in and trying to get out of this canyon. Yeah, it was a little nerve-wracking because we didn't know where the fire was at. We could hear and we kind of know the roads around here. Yeah. And then once we got to uh, somewhat of a safer location, we saw the smoke and realized that it wasn't that far off. It looked pretty bad. Once they were safe, they later checked if the lines they work hard on held up. They did. The masticator chews up trees in its path to reduce the fuel, making a fire less likely to jump across a roadway. Firefighters anticipated the inversion layer lifting yesterday with fresh oxygen, fueling the mosquito fire to move up the hillside at Wharton's Market, which is the last stand between the flames and Forest Hill. Firefighters credit these operators for helping stop the flames from attacking Forest Hill. They gave us a good pat on the back for it just because it really did help. I mean, it took all that heat out. But this humble group of men were quick to pass along the credit. We didn't have everything to do with it, but it was it was a good pat on the back. We talked about it all the way back to the camp. You know what I mean? What a good job we did. I'll tell you, the real heroes yesterday, I thought, was the hand crews and the engine crews and the, these air attack guys were just freaking awesome. Now, if you're wondering about all those healthy trees that had to be knocked down, Kyle, one of the operators that you met in the story, said the fire burns the undergrowth that puts nutrients in the ground, and in some years' time, those trees will once again grow. Reporting live in Forest Hill tonight, Rowena Shaddix, Fox 40 News.